That breaking news, structures destroyed, hundreds more threatened. Right now, an intense firefight heading into the night in Nevada County. Thanks so much for joining us on this busy Tuesday night. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Adrian Moore. We're also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. Here's the latest. The Rice's fire broke out this afternoon near the South Yuba River State Park, northwest of Nevada City. So far, the fire has burned 510 acres with no containment. Some structures have been destroyed, but there is no exact number this evening. 500 structures and the South Yuba River State Park are being threatened. 350 firefighters are now battling the flames. That number is expected to double by tomorrow. And right now, mandatory evacuations are in place. You can see those areas in red on this map here. The areas in yellow are voluntary evacuations. Let's get to CBS 13's Laura Hayfley. She's live for us in Nevada County with the very latest on this firefight. Laura. We can see the Rice's fire still very much burning. You can see behind me here, this is just one of the smoldering areas. We know several structures are being threatened. We know one home at least has been lost, but several homes we've seen have also been saved. And that's because of these hand crew teams you see sitting behind me here. And you can also see they're kind of sitting right under these red solar panels. Well, they're red because of the retardant drops from the airplanes. That's just to give you an idea of the team effort it's taken to fight this rice's fire so far. Firefighters battling fast, moving flames on the ground and from the air. The fire burning in this sparsely populated area near the town of Bridgeport. It took off very fast. It's a very rapidly moving fire once we got it seen, and it's in a very remote area with difficult access. One structure was lost when the fire initially broke out, and crews are surrounding adjacent homes trying to protect any others from burning. Sheriff's deputies going door to door, ordering people at more than 300 homes to leave. It's a quick response of, hey, there's a fire, you need to pack up and get moving, we're in evacuation. People who live and work in the area have one big concern. Uh, that it's just gonna grow into one of those no, monstrous no. fires and be devastating for the community and the area that we live in. Crews are concerned the fire could become more unpredictable as the flames spread into the Yuba River Canyon. What we could get is a lot of uh, erratic winds and a lot of eddies, uh, those winds they move up and down Canyon. Several large air tankers and helicopters were used throughout the day, surrounding the fire lines with retardant. Firefighters say they were able to get all the resources they needed because it's still early in the fire season. We're the only show in town right now, so we're very fortunate on that. This fire getting more difficult to fight in the overnight hours, and that is because it is heading down the canyon towards the river. It makes it a more sporadic fire. So it's hand crews like you see behind me here that are responsible for handling that fire. They're taking a well-deserved break right now because they have a long night ahead of them. Now, you mentioned evacuations. There are two main evacuation centers set up. One is at the Nevada City Library, and the other is for animals. That's at the Nevada County Fairgrounds, something to keep in mind if you are forced to leave your home.